stand to be here. My name is Kuiulani. I'm from the island of Kauai, the separate kingdom.
what she really means is, sweetheart, I know you think this is how it's going to go down, but if you're patient, you will see the reality of the situation that I am going to get my way. Okay, fine. <laughs> Any Holly boys heard that? Okay, fine. Another one is, I'm going to do this right, crazy. This is a local girl staple. Any local girls in the audience feel me here? Crazy! <laughs> now this can be used at the Kachi Kachi dance when the only brother who asks you to dance is about this tall with his boobies, his face in your boobies. And he's like, what? Well, this is how you like dance. We're like, crazy! <laughs> And you know what, local boys, they expect us local girls to amp on them. Because that's what we do. <laughs> now crazy can also be referred to the very expensive Korean barbecue place on Kauai. That charges $15.95 for a freaking mixed plate. <laughs> crazy! Like I'm telling him, crazy! Okay, what time I can get paid? Yeah. I'm gonna get it. Goodbye, like that phobia. I like to stop that bone. <laughs> now, crazy can also refer to the state of Hawaii, who defines me by my blood quantum. The state of Hawaii, who says I'm only a Hawaiian if I'm 50% Hawaiian blood. Crazy! I'm from Ayo. So I decided that since the state of Hawaii gets to define me by my blood quantum, or the percentage thereof, every other ethnicity injected in me by my father should have equal time because all men are created equal, right? So I decided all my ethnicities have an equal personality and their own life. So I deal with seven women on a daily basis. <laughs> All right, let's start with my German. Any Germans in the crowd? <laughs> Whatever, you guys are so kind. So my German, Annalise, she is the bitchiest of them all. She's the one that at the Shishi art opening while I'm sipping champagne will suddenly yell out, Ich find this art that is stabbing. She'll also emasculate any man who tries to go to bed with me with phrases like, You call that a helmet? Und das is not how you do it. That's my German. I know I try. My Irish girl Colleen, all she cares about is where the next Guinness is coming from. And the big strapping laddie with no brain that's going to fight to the death over her at the end of the party with some other idiot screaming out her name, saying she's fine. And hopefully there's a lot of people watching. Because my Colleen, she loves drama. The Irish, we love our drama, which is dramatic. That's my Irish. My Filipina, hmm. Well, her name's Celeste. She's related to Imelda. She's a nurse, by the way. <laughs> She's related to Imelda. And through Imelda Ben Cayetano, everybody. Because we're Visayan. And how about a hand for Ben Cayetano? He loves Hawaiians. He created the Year of Hawaiians and is anti rail. Let's have a hand for Ben Cayetano. My cousin. Well, my Celeste, she. What can I say? She likes pig hunting. And she has a deep affection 
an appreciation for bladed weaponry <laughs> and coach handbags. <laughs> In fact, if Louis Vuitton made a knife sheath, we'd have it. In fact, if any designer was smart enough to target the Filipina predilection for knives, I mean, picture it, my baby fat knife in my Louis Vuitton sheath on my Dolce & Gabbana belt with my Army 3030. I'd be bringing home the bacon and making a fashion statement. Imelda would be proud. My Chinese girl. I don't know, I know a lot about them. You know the freaking Chinese, they're so freaking sneaky. But I hear she owns a golf course somewhere. And uh, she keeps making me buy Jimmy Choo shoes. One size too small. I do have small feet, but they're not Chinese. She insists for a size six. Anyway, I hear the abacus clicking in my head, clicking in my head with a China girl. Oh, there's another one in there. Catholic girl. Catholic girl. Who has a Catholic girl in their head? Catholic girl looked like a little boy growing up, so she got to be an altar boy sometimes. But then once the priest found out that she wasn't a boy, she was shunned. <laughs> Catholic girl at her best takes care of business and her mother, volunteers for local charities, and keeps peace among the others. At her worst, she partners up with Colleen, parties all night, fucks the guy that's the loser of the fight that we mentioned before, wakes up crying the next morning, praying for world peace. And by the way, did I mention that Catholic girl converted to Buddhism 10 years ago, <laughs> thus bypassing the whole confession, forgiveness, hell thing? That's Catholic girl. Now that brings me to my Hawaiian. My Hawaiian is a fierce warrior who fights for her people. She's not afraid to stand up to government. And she has plenty of aloha in her heart. But sometimes you'll see Hawaiian running around with her hands crammed in her pockets or her arms wrapped around her real tight. And what she's doing is putting into practice what she learned in anger management classes. She's doing self-care. She's protecting herself from the local Tita girl version of Tourette syndrome, which we call false crap. <laughs> Sucker punch. And Hawaiian keeps getting arrested. She keeps getting arrested for kneeling in front of bulldozers. So because of her predilection for getting arrested, she prefers to stay home and grow tarot and think serene thoughts. All five of her ex-husbands concur that the community is much safer when she stays home and grows tarot. Now, Hawaiian's pretty pissed off because the state of Hawaii that has defined her by her blood quantum has also forced her to ally herself with a certain group in society that her grandparents didn't like. You know who you are. You were running around naked in the 60s and the 70s, smoking dope at Taylor Camp, and now you're realtors and governors. 